Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, September 15th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. And this month is National Acupuncture Month, and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment when you mention KC Sports or SheKC or Good Sports, and you contact KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. And you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this show is being taped at Kansas City's new premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. Uh, the Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, youth and men's leagues, sports camps, athletic sports enhancement, and more. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivera. You can call 913-897-HOOP. Or visit the Fieldhouse of KC. Visit FieldhouseofKC.com and watch for more information on their grand opening, which is coming up on October 6th. Now today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 a.m. and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8:30 a.m. at 4:30 p.m. and at 8:30 p.m. every day. And now you can also view our show and this show and our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations. And our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our current issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. And this month, we point out five members of the Chiefs who must step up for the Chiefs to improve this season. We also talk to the new member of the Chiefs, Peyton Hillis. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we have an article on youth hockey. And we give you an update on the construction of the brand new outdoor nhl size rink, which is scheduled to open at the KC Ice Center this November. And at SheKC, we have a story on a former Olathe East and KU basketball player, Daniel McRae, who's now playing pro basketball in the WNBA. Plus, we show you ways to stay safe and protect yourself this fall. Now, you can pick up your current copy of KC Sports at Burger King's, at both Minsky's on Berry Road, at Mr. Goodsense's, at the Kansas City Ice Center, at the Fieldhouse of KC, where we're doing our show today, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, or you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website, too. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports Plus. You can visit our website, SheKC.com. Check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, I mentioned we are out here at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City. We've got a basketball camp that's going on behind us. That was that buzzer that you heard is pulling everybody together, and they're all warming up right now. And we're joined by the owner of the Fieldhouse of Kansas City, Troy Paul. Uh, it's welcome to the show, Troy. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Steve. Uh, so... Fieldhouse is relatively new. How long have you guys been open? Well, we finished this this facility in a couple phases. So on June uh, 25th, we finished this side that we're presently on, and we had a tournament that weekend. And then we were able to finish the second half of the facility 
at, on August 1st. So we've really had the facility finished since about August 1st as in, in, for the entirety. And, and let describe the facility to me. I, I used to come here. I used to spend about uh, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars on at the ice surface. Not me personally, folks. Not me personally. It was a group of us that that did that. Um, it used to be an ice rink uh, way, way back a few a few months ago. But describe the facility to us now as it as it is presently. Well, what we like you said, this used to be an ice rink, the Pepsi Ice Center here at one hundred thirty fifth in Quivira. And so we found this and wanted to convert it into a basketball facility. Sure. And so what we did was we um, were able to take the two ice rinks and they're mirror images of each other and make three high school courts on each side. So we have six high school courts total. That's the largest in Kansas City for one facility. And then we also have um, what we say tournament courts. So we actually are able to convert each side into four tournament, giving us eight tournament um, size courts and so that makes us like I said the largest and and then also we have is we have a shooting lab in back mm -hmm. and that's a, where we actually really work on kids um, fine tuning their shots that used to be a little ice rink and we converted that into a, its own um, shooting lab Neat. and um, and then also we have a fitness center upstairs and uh, that's a full-blown fitness center for training athletes as well as for um, parents and and um, moms and to come upstairs and sure. do their work, daily workouts. Sure, yeah, anybody can join anybody the fitness can, center. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so how long have you had this idea, or, or did it just come about when you said, oh, well, uh, I, the ice rink is for sale, or, well, or have you had this idea for a while? For quite a while. So, you know, I was one of those guys that was part of a club team myself. We have our own club teams now, the Fieldhouse Kansas sure. City club teams. Sure. I was part of some other club teams my kids were. And so I would just go and sit in high schools or churches and gymnasiums and say, you know, if we were able to ever have one facility where we could put all the teams under one roof, how good could we get? How right. great would we be if we could actually have enough courts where we could um, see all our teams practicing at one time and we could and monitor how they, they uh, actually do the practices? And what if we had a place where instead of me sitting in the stands at a church or a high school gym, I could actually go work out instead of while my son or my daughter is sitting there playing on or practicing on the field. So that that is kind of so I started my kids have been doing this for about five years. And so really about four or five years ago, this started. So, wow. yeah, yeah. So I taught I once the facility, like you said, went up for sale, which was over. 18 months ago, right? Um, I, we started talking to the present owner or the uh, old owners, and um, you know, finally we got it to to come to fruition. So it so. started out as one of those locker rooms, just kind of sitting around saying, "Boy, yeah. we sure wish, man." Yes. And you turned it into a reality. That is truly amazing. Now, uh, how long did it take to do the transformation here? You know, you have actually another company that did a lot of this work that we, we see behind us. Yeah, I do. Ha I have um, a renovation company. I'm a general contractor. And so um, I kind of warned my guys that we have a big project coming up and it's going to call in a lot of favors. <laughs> so um, we actually did this at a miraculous time. We started um, in April and we were done by the end of August. So in wow. four, less than four months, we were wow. able to tear out the ice and put the floors down and get the facility open to where it is today. And um, on right at four months or a little bit under. That's incredible. That is truly incredible that you were able to turn it that fast because this is a this is a huge place and there's a lot that can go on here. I, I know I was here a few weeks ago. You had a tournament in. It was run by somebody else, but the parking lot was fuller than full. I you know in the hockey days, I would see the parking lot pretty full during tournament times, but this was fuller than full. I mean, it was incredible. And you had license plates from Texas and. Um, Iowa and all sorts of other places from teams that came in here, or the, or the tournament director did yeah. uh, on that. And it was just incredible when I came in here that you had, basketball, you had eight games going at the same time, and, and it was terrific. It was just a, a, that was a great display. That was literally the one day weekend. after we finished. Yeah. So yeah. We, we were <laughs> putting on nets and putting on pads and getting the facility ready. And you could still smell the poly, you know, poly on the floors as we were <laughs> opening up that. But that was a great, great turnout. Absolutely. So obviously, one of the things that you guys can do here is run tournaments. You've right. also got uh, kids leagues and adult leagues, and fill us in on all of those different. Yeah. Leagues. So as we've now had the the place fully open, we do have um, our men's adult league is starting on Monday, 
and uh, that will run probably three to four times a year. And we also have our youth league starting at the end of the month, and uh, that will go for eight weeks, and that will be another event that happens about four times a year. And we also have Biddy Ball coming up in the end of November where we bring in kids that are three to five years old that are wanting to get into the game but don't have, you know, there's really no leagues for that age. So we bring them in and develop a small little league around themselves. And then we also do have um, pickup ball that goes on during the daytime. During the lunch hour, we have kind of business guys coming in and doing that lunch ball. Sure. And then in the evenings, we also have pickup ball as well. And one of the things you have here is you have, uh, how many, eight locker rooms that are down between the two, the two um, court areas here. Right. So for those adults that want to come and work out during the day and then have to return back to work, they, they have the capability of cleaning up exactly. afterwards, which is really great, um, yes. you know, and, and that. Um, now, you've also, obviously, we, t- we touched on the fitness facility. You use it for training of your athletes as well as, as you said, mom can come in or dad can come in and work out while their kids are working out here or at any, at any time that's convenient for them. Um, what kind of stuff do you have upstairs? What kind of classes do you offer? Well, we have a lot of great opportunities up there. We have um, a kinesis wall that is actually a four-station wall, and there's four stations inside of those stations where you run a class through there. And so hmm. four, you get uh, four parents or kids on there, and um, you're able to... Uh, put the, do a full body workout on the kinesis wall. There's only three of them in Kansas City. We also have a TRX machine. It's kind of an old, um, ge- kind of the old um, bands and resistance training that we also, um, it's great for kids. It's great for um, adults as well. And then we have a 30-yard turf area up there too where we are able to work on sleds or parachutes and do you know, speed and agility up there. And then you can come over to the other side where we have our free motion equipment, which is all of our um, different machines for doing um, the full body workouts. Right. And then we have our treadmills and any of our cardio machines. Um, we also have a really nice um, a few two machines called Vertimaxes, and these are working on your explosion of your vertical. And so these are a resistance training machine that you actually put on belts and bands, and you explode and work the body to where you're able to increase your vertical. And you, you'll, it's amazing to see what happens with a kid that's um, on these machines for about two to three months. You'll see a four to six uh, inch increase in his vertical. Well, and, and not only with the vertical, but the, I know they do that kind of uh, lifting type of stuff yeah. for other sports as well. And it's, it's all about those first couple of steps. Yes. It's not just the jump, but it's the first couple of steps that to get away. Yeah, exactly. It's the explosion. Exactly. And so we and do have like, what we have is kind of an Olympic style um, platform where we're able to do all of our our um, lifting deadlifting and squats and that's all about the explosion that you're talking about right. and that's the new part up there and then another thing that's great and it's just going to open on um, september 24th is we actually have um, college park family care center doing their physical therapy um, upstairs and so oh, we have two physical therapists that'll be here every day working with our athletes and athletes outside of the facility working on injuries and you know physical therapy needs at those so it offers a whole lot so not only do you have the basketball but you're also working with a volleyball group as well we are pva is um i do have a partner his name is jim mcmullen and Mm -hmm. he's more of a silent partner but he's a silent partner on the volleyball side too pva performance volleyball and so christy lutman is the owner on that and she has about 350 kids and they're in here pretty much every night so we kind of have a volleyball side and a basketball side and and that um, is a really fun to have. Our them volleyball there too. net, volleyball nets are over on the other side. Yep. And they just drop, they just drop down from the ceiling. Is that the Actually, way it works, or are you n- come and set them up? We set them up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's great. You know, that that's fantastic. And you've got people flowing through here like crazy. Um, so, obviously, sitting around five years ago, four years ago, you came up with this idea. It is now a reality. What's your vision moving forward with uh, the field house? Yeah. So. We, we would love to see this model be duplicated. Sure. So if we can master this and get this to a point where we can take this on the road. So mm-hmm. the, 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 we've named it the Fieldhouse of Kansas City for a reason because we'd love to have a Fieldhouse of St. Louis, a Fieldhouse of Denver, a Fieldhouse of Chicago. So there's, there's other Fieldhouses around America where there's probably only, there's less than 12 that have six courts or more like we do. Um, but we would like to be able to develop a model that we're able to then 
go out and make another either a franchise or just own it corporately and have more locations. For sure. Now, one of your uh, slogans is, we, we build the athlete inside the player, that's Fieldhouse. Can you explain? I mean, I think you've kind of explained that. You've kind yeah. of set it up, but explain that to us. Well, you know, what happens is basketball is either just pure... <laughs> A little. Oh, you can keep going. Don't okay. worry about it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, what happens is you either have just athletes and they don't really know how to actually shoot and do some of those pieces of the puzzle, but then you also a lot of times you just have players out there that need to really work on their athleticism. And so because of our facility, we're able to bring a kid in and evaluate him and see, you know, where we're able to take him upstairs and build the athletic body that he needs and the explosion and the strength and the abilities and the conditioning to make him the ultimate player. You can go out there and be a great player, but what happens is if you don't have that athleticism and the conditioning and the strength, later in the game, you're not able to perform at that high level. Right. And you see that at the college level and, the, and at the uh, pro level. So that's our focus is to start at a young age, develop the players, work on their fundamentals, their skills, and then as they get into the age where their body can handle more of the st speed and agility and the strength and conditioning, we really start to build the athlete into the player. For sure. And to be able to do that, you have to have a great coaching staff. Tell yeah. us about the guys uh, that are working with these players that are out there, both male and female uh, players that you have out yeah, there. Yeah, we have, um, during the spring, we have around 300, from spring and summer ball, we have about 300 kids. And then in the winter, we scale down because the high school kids go back to, right. to their teams, and we scale down to about 180 kids. Um, so we have a basketball coordinator, his uh, boys coordinator. His name is Damian Brown. He used to have his own teams and called True Basketball, and he came on um, with me as a as a um, as a, a partner with me on that. And then also, um, Warrior Hoops had uh, their owner was Gary Newsom, and he became our mm -hmm. girls coordinator. And so those guys had some staff already, and um, we have. Almost every one of our staff members here at the field house has played beyond the high school level. Some have even played up into the um, the uh, the D League for the NBA, really? Really? and most of them have played overseas as well as college ball. Right. So they bring in great experience, not only on the court but off the court, right. doing camps and clinics and coaching of their own. And so we're able to really build a really good staff. And so. You know, what we have is our, nobody holds more than two teams. They hold one to two teams, so they can really focus on that team's strength, make the offense and the defense appropriate for the, the team members they have on that team. And um, we're really fortunate. We have a really great uh, coaching staff. Absolutely. And um, you also break things down into skill classes where you work on specific fundamentals of the game. I think that's some of that's going on right now. It may be a year-round type of thing that yeah, you do. Yeah, this is probably the thing I'm most excited about for us at the field house is we have a thing where on our club teams, you know, club teams out there right now, you say, hey, I'm going to do two practices a week, two tournaments a month. Well, that's great, but the thing that really needs to happen in my eyes is the skill development. Because when a team comes to practice, what they have is they have, um, they work on offense, they work on defense, they do work on conditioning, but do they really work on the fine-tuning of the skills? And so what we have is every night, um, Four um, one-hour sessions every night, all of our team members and outside team members that play for other teams can come and be a part of the Fieldhouse skill sessions. And what those look like is on Monday, they will work on um, shooting and um, finishing at the basketball, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, work on footwork. On Tuesdays, they will work on rebounding and, um, you know, working on their on their weak side of their game, if it's right. their left hand. And so right. then you're able to really spend an hour with a one on ten. We do one coach. Uh, one trainer for 10 kids and work on those kids and go have them finishing with where there's contact where you use a, a, a body um, a body pillow where you're making them simulating a, a real the game. Contact, yeah. yeah, or making them work on two-handed dribbling or exploding off their left hand right. and left foot to right. where they can finish. And so that's really where we see us developing that athlete into the player is in yeah. those skills. And so that's yeah. a benefit that we nobody really does. Everybody kind of offers that as a Saturday class or maybe a Sunday deal, we offer that every night because we have the large facility where we can offer that skill. That's tremendous. That is. Uh, now, your official grand opening is coming up on October 6th, and we're going to be out here that day doing a show again. Um, what do you guys have planned for that? We've only got about a minute or so to go, a minute and a half, but fill, fill us in on that. I'm really excited. October 6th, we have um, 
We have programming from 10 o'clock till 4 o'clock scheduled. 10 o'clock to uh, 12 o'clock is going to be more for our younger kids. We have baby Jayhawk coming out um, <laughs> to take pictures and be around. And then we go into a clinic with the Avila players. The Avila um, College University has their players coming out to run a, a free clinic for our folks. We have Lynn O'Brien and her cheer camp coming out to do a little um, presentation. Um, Mix 93.3 will be here live um, doing their their show for us. Um, we have uh, uh, PB&J is bringing in Red Robin, Yaya's, and I think Smoke ha- um, Burn Ends um, for us for the food. Right, right. And that's all free. And then at the end, um, McCarthy is going to be doing a, a car giveaway on a half-court shot. Oh, and wow. so that's really exciting. So we'll see if we actually give a car away that day or not. Oh, wow. If somebody that's can fantastic. make that shot. So we have a lot of giveaways from KU tickets to Kansas City Chiefs tickets to Mavericks tickets. So we'd love to see you guys out. It's going to be a great event. And that's October 6th from 10 to 4. And let's give the information. I mean, one of the key things you want, and that's part of what we're going to do here today with the TV show, is show the facility. But you want people just to stop by and see the facility and see how great it is. Uh, tell us where you're located, phone number, website. We would stuff. love to give anybody a tour at any time. And so we are located at 135th and Quivira on the northwest corner. And that our um, phone number is uh, 913-897-HOOP. And that's... Uh, the, I forgot my own acronym on the hoop. It's uh, 897-4667. And then our website is fieldhouseofkc.com. So we would love for you to come in and do a tour. We have staff here all the time, and we can show you around and show you the shooting lab, the fitness center, the goals, anything you'd like to see. Well, Troy, thank you very much thank for, you, Steve. for Appreciate joining it. us today. We're excited to be coming back for the grand opening. It sounds like it's going to be a great event. Everybody should join us out here at the Fieldhouse on October 6th. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine show. We are coming to you from the Field House of Kansas City, which is located on Quivira and 135th Street. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. What five Chiefs players must step it up for the team to improve this season? How will Mizzou fare in the SEC? This month, Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine catches football fever with features on the Chiefs presented by Bud Light, college football sponsored by the Surplus Exchange, and high school football presented by Siege Sports. Plus, check out the Great Life at River Oaks Golf Report and the Kansas City Ice Center Hockey Report. We've got the sports stories you can't find on the web until we put them there. Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. It's always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome, and this month is National Acupuncture Month, and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment. Just mention KC Sports or SheKC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, 
please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913-438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrews Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrews at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. If you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC magazines. I am Steve Fish. This show is being taped at Kansas City's new premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, youth and men's league, sports camps, athletic sports enhancement, and more. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. You can call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. And watch for more information on their grand opening, which is coming up on October 6th. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses that you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, uh, church activities, corporate events, youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. Now in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month we interview Jayhawk offensive lineman Pat Lewandowski, Wildcat uh, quarterback Colin uh, Klein, and Tiger wide receiver Marcus Lucas. And in SheKC, we feature a story on the UMKC volleyball team. Plus, we give you the warning signs for something called the female athlete triad. Now, you can pick up your copy of, our, of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center and Mafia Mike's Pizza at 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. And you'll find SheKC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include the Community Blood Center, where you can get a certificate for a free large one-topping Papa Murphy's Pizza if you donate at the Blood Center on a Monday So on any Monday during the NFL season, you can help save a life. You can score a pizza and enjoy Monday night football. For more information, visit savealifenow.org. Siege Sports, unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. For sports like you've never seen it before, Siege Sports is the answer. Call 913-953-8400 or visit siegesports.com. The Missouri Comets indoor soccer team who play at the Independence Event Center and their Fan Fest is coming up on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. And admission is free. For ticket information, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Oliver's Pizza, where you can take advantage of their $5 sandwich special at lunch and come on out for the Parkway Plaza Fall Festival on September 29th from noon until midnight. Admission is $5 for the event which will include music and fun events for kids and more, and $2 benefits the National Kidney Foundation. 
and paint glaze and fire a ceramics and coffee house located at 127th and Metcalf where you can get five dollars off your purchase of twenty five dollars or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness to unleash your creativity call paint glaze and fire at nine one three six six one clay or visit paint glaze and fire dot net plus we want to mention several advertisers in GKC and they are Kansas City Chiropractic Safe Kansas, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Pulofsky & Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Garden of Delights Yoga, Heritage College, The Fieldhouse of KC, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Now we're going to take another quick break, and when we come back we're going to talk with the new general manager of a brand new indoor professional football team that's coming here to Kansas City in 2013. His name is Reggie Harris. He's been on our show in the past, uh, but we're going to take a break. We're coming to you from the Fieldhouse of Kansas City, which is located at 135th and Quivira. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Take advantage of the NFL Sunday Golf Special at Heart of America Golf Academy. On Sundays from 11 to 3, play nine holes with cart for only $15. And sign up now for play and practice memberships. Visit HOAGolfAcademy.com or call 816-513-8940 for details. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit GardensofDelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. Come check out KC's premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, from player skill development, athletic performance enhancement, and character enrichment. Mark your calendar to visit the Fieldhouse for their grand opening on Saturday, October 6th. Youth and men's leagues, sports camps, exercise, and more. The Fieldhouse builds the athlete inside the player. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Sign up now for the fall programs presented by I-9 Sports, flag football, soccer, cheerleading, basketball, and baseball for boys and girls 2 to 14. All skills are welcome and there are no tryouts. Call 913-904-0810 or visit i9sports.com. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Donate your life-saving blood every Monday during football season at Community Blood Center and receive a free large Papa Murphy's pizza. For details, like CBC on Facebook or click SaveAlifeNow.org. 
Come on out to the Kansas City Comets Fan Fest on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Independence Event Center. Admission is free. For more information on Fan Fest or tickets for the Kansas City Comets upcoming season, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC magazines. I am Steve Fish, and this show is being taped at the uh, Kansas City's new premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, youth and men's leagues, sports camps, athletic uh, sports enhancement, and more. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com and watch for more information on their grand opening coming up on October 6th. Uh, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange where you can take a tax donation uh, uh, credit uh, plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. Watch for their upcoming recycling events on October 6th at Lee Summit High School and October 13th at the Black and Beach campus on, uh, in Overland Park. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. Now, I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the plaza, former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutritional Supplement Company, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more. And you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, or SheKC. Now to read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and Sport Clips all over Kansas City, and SheKC is also available at over 500 locations. Now this month, SheKC, we tell you if it's best to eat before or after exercise. We also write about rowing for fitness, exercise, and college scholarships. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness, and we give advice on how to simplify your game. And in our high school report presented by Seat Sports, we outline some of the storylines to watch for in the current high school football season. And I also want to mention that on September 22nd, we will be at Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. Our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. And also on Saturday, September 29th, we will be at the Parkway Plaza Fall Festival, and we'll be recording at Oliver's Pizza. Uh, there'll be music and beer garden, uh, lots of kids' activities, including face painting and inflatables, clowns, and more. And our taping will start at about 12.30 or 12 o'clock that day. On October 6th, we will be back here at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City, located at 135th and Quivira, for their grand opening. Uh, taping will start probably 11, 12 o'clock that day. On October 13th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center recording an upcoming show. And the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And our taping usually starts at about 12.30 at the KC Ice Center. So come on out and join us for those events, and you might see yourself on television. Now, we are joined. Again, we're out at the Fieldhouse of KC. We are joined. Uh, we're going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to talk about some indoor professional football. We're joined by Reggie Harris. He is the new general manager of the brand-new professional indoor football team that is yet to be named uh, but is coming here to Kansas City. Uh, he's a friend of our show. He's been on the show a couple of different times over the course of the years. Welcome to the show, Reggie. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. I mean, I'm glad I get to come back. I must really be a friend. <laughs> for sure. Well, you keep on doing these cool things, you know. <laughs> it's like, you know, you, you started out with the brigade way back. Right. It, it seems like a long time ago, but we'll talk about that in, in when we're talking about that. So let's start off with some of the basics. Um, when was the team officially announced? team was officially announced at the end of August. Uh, we went up to league meetings right in the middle of August, got approval, and then now we've um, gone official and, and decided to go out public with it so we can start building towards that season opener. Right. And when will they start playing? What's your usual season? It usually starts at the end of February, 1st of March, and we're going to play a 12-game schedule. 
Uh, so we'll be done by July 4th with the championship trophy. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh, that, there you go. Uh, and we're excited, we'll be excited to have that on our show to, sh- to show that to, Absolutely. to people. I'll be, I want to hold it, you know. Um, <laughs> Now, where will you be playing? That is that is the the interesting question here. I know the answer, but um. yeah, it, it's gotten more attention than I thought it would. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll be playing at Kemper Arena. Cool. And, and um, I, I know that surprised a few people, but we felt that was the best option for our team for a number of reasons. Uh, one of those being, we think Kansas City is a tailgating town. Um, we know it's a football town. But Kansas City is used to going out to an event uh, around their football and sports and not just necessarily coming for just the game itself. So we're trying to provide that complete entertainment value. And we believe tailgating and starting from the time you get there until the time you leave is really important. Kemper gives us that opportunity to do that. Right. And the Sprint Center, as great as it is, doesn't really provide that because you're parked everywhere. Right. It's, it's a little more difficult to get everybody together. We love Sprint Center. It's a great facility mm-hmm. and great mm-hmm. venue. Um, but we think our fans will gravitate more towards being able to tailgate as a group and get together and, and kind of build that community camaraderie. Right. Um, and, and then also the noise level in Kemper Arena is something that you can't replicate exactly in the Sprint Center for reasons I won't go into. But if you're, <laughs> if you're a sports fan and acoustic fan, you, you know what I'm talking about. Well, and, and I remember I went to a number of games for the first season of the Brigade, which was a season that you especially were involved in. Mm-hmm. And it was, in, I mean, it, it was full. It was incredibly loud. You had the siren going off. You had the right. flames. Yeah. You could feel, actually, you could feel the flames. We were up in, our tickets were up on the upper level. Okay. And the flames would shoot out. And you could, you know, a few seconds later, you could feel a wave of those. And that just yeah. added the heat wave. And that just added yeah. to the excitement of everything that was going on. And it, and it was, you know, maybe it happens at the Sprint Center, but it was certainly a unique thing for Kemper Arena, you know, that, that aspect of it as well. Yeah, and, and you know, I'm, I'm a frustrated kid, so <laughs> I still like fire, blowing stuff up, <laughs> loud music, you know. So we, we're going to bring some of those aspects, too. I'm not sure they're going to let me blow stuff up this time. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I, okay. I've asked. The insurance company <laughs> hadn't gotten back yet. Well, well, we're crossing our fingers for you. <laughs> there we go. That, um so um, by the time this show hits the air, you guys will have a press conference that will name the team. Are you going to share that with us now, or are we going to call it the yet unnamed team? Unnamed the yet unnamed team. Yet unnamed team. Uh, by the time this goes on air, we should have had a press conference to announce that we are the, the brand-new Kansas City Renegades. All right, you heard it here first. Well, yeah. you didn't really hear you it. You didn't really hear it, but, but you will hear but, it. But, yeah, yeah, this show was recorded a week earlier, so you heard it here first. Yeah. Well, congratulations. That's an exciting, uh, exciting name. Is Renegades singular or Renegades plural? Plural. Plural. Okay, plural. the Renegades. Yeah, the Renegades. I, I'm a big fan of the plural names in, in <laughs> sports. Uh, it's all encompassing. So oh, sure. We, we wanted to, again, playing at Kemper Arena. We're in the West Bottoms. We wanted to get something that had a little bit of that tie to the the Western and, and a little bit of the rough and tumble and, and kind of that cattle driver and all that mentality. So we wanted to embrace that as Kansas City. Right. And we wanted the team to be looked at as reflective of our community. For sure. And hopefully by the time this show hits the air, if our timing works out right, we'll be able to show you the logo uh, on our television show. If not, we'll, we'll have it on in a future show as well. Because uh, I know you guys are working fast and furious on that and trying to trying to tweak it and get well, it. Get we it are. We are. We've got one that works, and it'll uh, hopefully sell a lot of merchandise. There we go. That's that's a part of it is having it across the, uh, you know, having the jerseys and having the T-shirts and the hats and all that yeah. kind of stuff. I'm excited to be able to get my Renegades spirit wear. That, that's very cool. Um, so... Um, Tell us about the league. You're, it, it's a different league than uh, the command we're in. Um, it's called the CPIFL, and I'll let you explain what that all means. Yeah, CPIFL, Champions Professional Indoor Football League. Um, I, I know that acronym is, is a little long sometimes for folks, but what happened is you, you've got a couple of regional-type leagues that have started to sprout up for indoor football. Um, everybody knows about the Arena Football League, and they have their national footprint, and, and that's great for them. But for a lot of communities, they've started to go the route of being able to generate these smaller natural regional rivalries. So CPIFL right. 
is made up of teams from about three other leagues that are coming together now. And, you know, our furthest team to the north is Sioux City, Iowa right now. Furthest to the south is Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. We've got Wichita, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, So we've got some cities that we'll have natural rivalries with. Fans will be able to travel to and from those games a little bit easier, more cost-effective for everybody involved. And and that was kind of the intent of, of this league, was making sure the financial model was good for the owners and the fans. Absolutely. And it is... Um, it, it is the top professional indoor football league in the Midwest. So you're bringing all these Midwest teams together, and, um, you know, that's very cool. Now, your commissioner, his name is James Bain, said in uh, the press conference that you originally had that Kansas City is critical for the future of the league, and, and it's the flagship city for the league. Uh, now, that's a lot of pressure on you, the general manager of the new Renegade. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, Kansas City as a market gets a lot of respect in this region, and we know that we are going to be seen as that model franchise, and everybody's looking at that. what we're going to do next. What, what promotion are we going to do next? What marketing angle are we going to come with? So we, we've taken that challenge on. I think the community will get behind and actually rally around the idea of you're being viewed as the top of the heap before we even play our first game. Right. Well, I want you to know you guys are, I went to the, uh, the CPIFL website, and they've got the standings. You guys are on top. Yeah. It, yeah. It's funny very, how very cool. That. Yeah, it's, it's alphabetical, <laughs> actually. But, you know, you guys are on top. It's Kansas yeah. City, Lincoln, Mid-Missouri, Oklahoma, Sioux city and wichita yeah. i was like well you, you guys and the next thing you'll have to do is put a, du- a triple a in front of, in front uh, of that's it. right and, and i'm going to make sure that whenever we uh, <laughs> name a new team to the league we'll make sure their their letter is after k <laughs> absolutely yeah. absolutely so you're always on top there yeah. we go so let's talk about some of the players that you are recruiting um for the team um, you've got to, actually you came here and we're going to talk about that in just a second but you came here from a tryout that's going on right now and so but let's talk about some of the guys that you you have uh, captured already and, and are, are you know bringing to the team yeah we've done extremely well reaching out locally and getting some of these guys that have played college ball nearby high school um, it's kind of an initiative of ours so sure. we've got some guys like Tommy Chavis that played at the University of Missouri and was a real dominant defensive lineman right there in the outdoor game and has been since then in the indoor game as well um, Carson Kaufman who played at K-State University as a quarterback Carson has had some great opportunities and now we feel like this is another opportunity for us to help develop him to get to that next level right um, a young man named OJ Simpson that played at Missouri Western uh, he also played for the Kansas City Command great wide receiver even better guy out in the community absolutely yeah and he was on our show um, several months ago and he yeah. is a tremendous guy doing things for kids and, and stuff like that. I mean, a really a great yeah. guy. Yeah. It, that was actually one of the first things he came to us with was uh, the community involvement. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he led with that, and then he said, uh, oh, by the way, if you give me the ball, we'll win. <laughs> so you got to like that guy. <laughs> you know. and then we had some other guys. Pig Brown from MU has also signed with us. Uh, you know, he was a dominant defensive back when he was in college. Uh, so we, we think we've got a good blend of talent. Uh, of guys to build around and build that nucleus to where we should be again we should be the premier team in the league we've got a much better recruiting opportunity than than some of the others um so putting some pressure on the head coach and myself right now saying (laughs) uh, we're sitting in a good position to be able to recruit good talent so uh and obviously you have tryouts today um which are happening up in independence uh right now yes uh, at your practice facility i don't know if you want to mention them just yep. you know just to be yeah go- hey, just to just to be uh good to all of good our good to them yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely we'll be practicing at the sports lodge um out in independence and that's where we're holding our tryout today uh, very good turnouts i was pleased with the the pace and the organization more than anything um, we had a good response somewhere. I didn't get the final numbers before I walked out of there. I, I will want to get back, but I think there were somewhere around 50 to 75 guys wow. that showed up at 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Wow. Um, 
and, and this was voluntary on their part to do mm -hmm. that. So these are not guys that we have under contract. These are guys that are trying to get a contract. Right. Um, and uh, we actually had some 40 times in the 4-3 and 4-4 range this wow. week. Wow, so great. I always like to see that. Now, I don't know if they can catch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, we'll give them, if you're four three, I'll give you a shot. Hands of stone, but yeah, you, know, you never know. So I should have gone and tried out. No, I'm just kidding. I can catch, <laughs> but not, no way I could do that. No. And I read on a, a CPIFL press release that ten players are gonna get a really good up. At least ten players are gonna get a really good opportunity with you. Yeah, you got an opportunity to meet our owner. Um, he he enjoys doing some of these things to to get people's attention and let them know we're serious about what we're doing. Right. So he gave us the challenge of finding ten guys that can come in the camp. And I gotta tell you, from what I saw before I left, I don't think we're gonna have a problem finding them. Wow, that's great. That's wonderful. Um, well, you mentioned the owner. What is his name? Uh, Jeremy Plager is our majority owner. Uh, Jeremy's been in the Kansas City area since he was about three, four years old, so he, he is a Kansas City and has uh, been heavily involved in the community and worked in, in local politics, um, as well as has a, a nice successful business of his own outside of that. So, passionate football guy. Um, he, he was a sports agent for a while. Mm -hmm. I don't hold that against him because... Because <laughs> you were too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had that momentary lapse of judgment as well. So uh, helps us out in, in being able to identify talent and know how to speak to the guys, though, and, and uh, know that recruiting, which is really important in, in our level of football. For sure. Well, Jeremy, in, in your the first press conference that you guys had that I attended, uh, described indoor football as like being at a rock concert and a football game broke out. That's right. And I have to agree with that from what I explained earlier in the show. You obviously plan to add all that excitement, and we hope we blow things up and the magic and the fun at every home game. You know, you want to have a, it be a show from beginning to end. Absolutely. If you've got the loud music and you've got the energy and activity in the room, I believe people will continue to come back. Right. Now, we're going to win football games, too. And like I mentioned with some of these guys, we got a guy that's got a Super Bowl ring. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Briggs won one in, in Green Bay. So these guys are serious about their football and really want to be competitive. But my goal is win, lose, or draw, you had a good time at the game that night. Right. Well, when will tickets for the Kansas City Renegades be on sale? What's your goal to, to get those out? Season tickets will go on sale sometime around the second week of October. Oh, so that's really soon. Yeah. So you'll, uh, you'll start seeing announcements. Um, our, our website should be up by the time this goes on air, kcrenegades.com. Right. Right. If not, KC Indoor Football will still be operational, right. and we will uh, be making announcements to give you a few days heads up uh, right. when those are going to go. But mid-October, we'll do a season ticket, and there will always be that holiday season ticket push as well. So, Of course, and of course, groups can you can bring a group, and then there's single tickets, and you're going to have all sorts of packages, and like you said, the holiday push as well. Right. Um, they won't be ridiculous prices like some of our professional teams <laughs> are here in Kansas City where it's very difficult to bring the family to anything, where some dad dis yeah. might disappear on a Sunday afternoon and show up about eight or ten hours <laughs> later. Um, your tickets are more family-oriented. Your pricing, what's your structure yeah. going to be? We wanted to make sure that you could come to one of our games for about the same price as you could take your family to a movie. So we've got an entry-level price of $10 right now. And that's going to actually get you in the lower bowl of Kemper Arena. Wow. And we're going to keep the average price between 15 and $20. We haven't completely figured out that manifest yet, so I'm not going to commit to right. the exact number. Right, right. Um, but we will not go over $20 for our average ticket price in the building. So you'll be able to get a family of four into our game, even hit the concession stands, which Kemper Arena will appreciate. <laughs> and, and, you know, you'll spend 100 bucks maybe at, at, at most. You could do it for even less than that, maybe about 50 Right. Well, uh, we've, we've only got about a minute here, but tell us about the staff that you have uh, in place right now, and, and what are you looking to add? Sure. We are developing right now. We've got some, obviously, we are in the minor league, so we're developing our staff now. So we've got some folks that are fresh out of college. We've got some with media background. We're really trying to bring in that, uh, that sales professional, that 
uh, understands indoor football in the Kansas City market. Mm -hmm. um, so right now, you know, we've got uh, Chris Moreno as my assistant general manager, and he's kind of heading up operations to keep me sane. Sure. Uh, which is, is Yay, difficult Chris. to do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear for Chris. <laughs> so Chris is kind of heading up that charge and helping us keep recruiting that, that best talent to, to get in the office there and, and run. And you, you may see some familiar names from our past start popping up uh, – uh, from those old Kansas City Brigade days, but mm -hmm. uh, you'll have to bring me back to tell you those. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, again, people can obviously right now check out KCIndoorFootball.com, and then uh, hopefully you'll have the what is it, KC Renegades or Kansas City Renegades? It'll be KC. KCRenegades.com up very soon, if not by the time you see this show. Uh, Reggie, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you appreciate coming it. out here. I know you're heading back to Independence to see who has made the team in a sense or at least made the opportunity to I think to, I got to sign a couple contracts yeah, there yeah. we go yeah you got your work your work set for that and you've got your work set uh, but people will be able to follow uh, the renegades in Kansas City sports and fitness of course we'll have more information and have you guys back on and hopefully have some players coming out very soon Absolutely. well that will do it for our show today my thanks to our host for the show the field house Kansas City and their owner, Troy Paul, plus the general manager of the new pro indoor football team called the Kansas City Renegades, uh, uh, Reggie Harris. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and SheKC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazine's You'll find them all over Kansas City, and they're free, so pick them up today. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome, and this month is National Acupuncture Month, and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment. Just mention KC Sports or SheKC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 sandwich special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club meatball grinder or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And come on out to Oliver's for the Parkway Plaza Fall Festival on September 29th from noon to midnight. Admission is $5 for the event, which will include music, fun events for kids, and more. And $2 benefits the National Kidney Foundation. For more details, visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street or go online to oliverspizzeria.com. 
Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. Come on out to the Kansas City Comets Fan Fest on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Independence Event Center. Admission is free. For more information on Fan Fest or tickets for the Kansas City Comets upcoming season, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. 